Hello everyone, welcome from Froctech Tips. Today I've got a very old HP computer. It's actually Pentium 4 and I already tested it and still working. Looks nice condition, there is no really scratch and only a little of dust is inside. I'll show them now. Yeah. Actually not bad, some dust inside. We got the all we need included. And to be fair, there is install Windows XP fully working. And what I will try? I will try upgrade this CPU and install Windows 10 on it. To hopefully get a working this PC with Windows 10 and someone can use it for browsing internet or watching YouTube but definitely not for gaming yeah this will be not gaming this will be actually office computer one day and maybe that one day will coming soon okay I think it's 775 socket I will be confirmed that once I take it all but like I said it's actually very very old Pentium 4 I think it's 2.2 GHz, but yeah, we're gonna check it now how it looks the this underneath, and hopefully we can we can add some better minimum dual core processor, and hopefully we can get it working on Windows 10. This is the same hardware you see inside. Maybe upgrade some little RAM. We will see. But what I want to do from this PC is actually just running. Windows 10 for office task. Otherwise, this PC is so so good condition. This is two hard drive. I think 160 and 250 gigs. I'm not sure. We'll double confirm that one. I switch the PC again. Should change this CPU or have a look. Only we need to do is done a four screw. Uh, on each side, it's one, two, three, four. And once I take it off, I'll be check if it's possible upgrade this CPU from one I have somewhere lying around. Now we got the old screw down. We'll just unplug. Well, I'll check what kind of socket is actually here. I'm feeling it's 775. If I'm not wrong it's definitely 775 yeah i think it's 775 socket and we will try put a different cpu so i've got a a5400 which is dual core 5.7 gigahertz and actually will be much much better that pentium 4 and it will be more than enough running actually Windows 10. Here you go. Close this. Apply some thermal paste and just screw down. It's hitting and finally go and test. Okay, we just installed the new CPU. We are just upgrading this very very old PC with the much better dual core CPU, which will be enough for day-to-day -day task. And I will be now try switching on if it's the processor actually working on this board. And if not, that's it. Probably I can do nothing. As you can see, the boards have a problem because this light and actually this light is on. Uh, hopefully, you'll see this board live with this CPU. or maybe not okay i try upgrade this pc with two different cpu but actually none of them is work that means i just putting back the original pentium 4 and as you can see the windows xp is there and still fully working uh, I don't have any better processor for this PC I can get it working. That means 
this PC is really unsuccessful and I will be probably give this PC to someone for have a fun. Uh, maybe just sell it like for fiber because there is still a couple of components and someone maybe can use it. Okay, it's still nice. Yeah, I'll be trying to sell for five pounds to get some profit from this one. And like I said, there is a Windows XP and actually is fully working at least is not anymore support by Microsoft but you can see it's actually still fully working PC and even it's fully working it's not really 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 slow it's still actually fine and running uh, it's a Pentium 4 actually 3 gigahertz and 2 gigs RAM and let's anyway actually have a trading processor I don't think so it's actually just the CPU uh, uh, yeah, it's actually a hyper trading processor, which is like 2 3 gigahertz processor, you see that? Not bad, not bad. Okay, that's it for this video. Click like, click subscribe. See you on my another video with better, better bug, budget PC. This one is actually good for nothing, maybe. Okay, see you soon.